Excuse me, um, I'd like to speak to the manager. You from the health department? No. Then I'm the manager. I'm also the cashier, the table busser, and the bouncer. As a matter of fact, you know what they call me? What? Josh. Oh, well, excuse me, Mr. Uh, Josh. Um, I'm looking for a job. <laughs> you are, huh? You got any experience? Experience? <laughs> I travel with my own Melita filters. <laughs> so you've got no idea how to make coffee? None. Could I get a little service? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> nice save. If you can pour as well as you catch, you're hired. Fantastic! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. This is gonna make it hard to negotiate salary, isn't it? Okay, here's the correct way to bus a table. First, the trash. Try to avoid screaming yuck at the top of your lungs. I once saw my vice principal in his boxer shorts. Not a peep. Next, the mugs. All right, I like to pretend the half full ones mean good luck. And then you reach the mother load. A whole quarter tip. You think you can handle that table? Yeah, just hand me a germ laden rag and I'm on it. Oh, by the way, I know it's last minute, but is there any chance you could work the night shift on Halloween? I mean, while everyone else is goofing off, I get to make coffee and wash dirty cups. And clean the spill tray. All this a minimum wage? Where do I get my shots? <laughs> You know, I've been thinking of revising my will and leaving you my entire collection of Pez dispensers. What do you want? Ride to the graveyard tonight, please. No can do. I've got to work. Oh, that's right. You've got that nice boss, real generous guy, always thinking of others, giving of himself. Your point? Think he'd give me a ride to the graveyard? <laughs> You know, I'm really surprised our special pumpkin-flavored coffee hasn't been more popular. Do you think it has anything to do with the fact that it's a hideous shade of orange and it tastes like pumpkin? <laughs> Trick or treat! None of the above. Great costumes, huh? You wouldn't believe how hard it was to find ones that fit. That's flame retardant. Aren't you a little old for this? Not until the city council passes that law. <laughs> Tonight is gonna be a Halloween for the record books. We're gonna warm up by egging Coach Cook's house, work in a cow tip or two, and time permitting, Wrap things up by streaking across old lady Blankenship's front yard. I'm glad to see you've added subtlety to your bag of tricks this year. Yeah, oh, come on, why are we still standing here? We should be out there burning poop. I know how you love Tootsie Pops, so I'll save any I get for you. Uh, wash your hands first. <laughs> Cute kids. Yeah, I guess that's what happens when pregnant women smoke. Well, I've got to get to the library and finish my essay on Shakespeare's comedies. I've compared, now I'm ready to contrast. Wait a minute, you're gonna leave me here to run things by myself? Yeah, that's why I asked you to work tonight. I really need someone I can trust. The last guy I left here rented it out to bikers. But how do you know you can trust me? I've only worked here one day and I have very shifty eyes. I'll only be a couple of hours. I'll be back in time to help you close up. But what if someone comes in here and wants to order something? You give it to them? I promise you, Halloween night here is so easy. The place is a morgue. Ooh. 